Hey guys, welcome back to Python Programming with Professional Prep. Congratulations, you've learned the basics of Python programming. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can further your learning in Python using free resources on the internet. So the number one thing you can do if you want to learn more Python is just use Google. Search up anything you want to learn. Do you want to learn game development in Python? Go ahead. Machine learning, artificial intelligence? Search it up. I'm sure you'll find something. Another thing you can use is YouTube. YouTube is the perfect place to just search up some tutorial, code along, learn something along the way. It's perfect and I use it, I use it very often. Now, there's also a bunch of things that we did not discuss in Python. Here is W3Schools. It's a great place to learn more Python. So some things that we hadn't learned, tuples, sets, we didn't learn lambda, um, dates, JSON, regex, and a big one is, where is it? Yeah, I don't know where it is, but it's um, try and accept. So W3Schools is a, it's an amazing place, and I definitely recommend you to, uh, you know, just search up W3Schools. It's probably going to be the first result. Oh, there it is, try and accept. Um, just check it out, learn anything you want, file handling, handling is pretty cool, um, matplotlib is good for data science, machine learning, as I was talking about before, MySQL is database, um, another database thing, um, and then you can find some other Python references. And the one thing every single developer uses, Stack Overflow. This says it all, literally, Everyone who can code uses Stack Overflow. My brother, he doesn't code a lot, but even he uses Stack Overflow whenever he approaches a problem. Most of the times when you search up some problem that you're having on Google, the first couple of results will be Stack Overflow. And Stack Overflow is pretty much a community of developers who share their problems and then other developers share answers. So yeah, if you ever have a problem with any of your, pro um, any of your programs, I know I use Stack Overflow um, whenever I have a problem, but if you have a problem, search it up on Google, you'll probably find some solution on Stack Overflow. The one thing I definitely suggest is to actually learn what's going on instead of copying and pasting, which is what many beginners do. And that is it. So um, I hope you had a glorious time on this Python adventure, and I hope you continue your learning in Python. Bye.